Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode in Economics and Comics. I'm over here at the Massey Twins house. This is their super duper collection. They are some major film critics. Um, you can check them out at gonewiththetwins.com. And uh, they have stuff on every movie you could think. You get early access and everything. Um, so you want to go, you guys want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, we are the Massey Twins. Our voices sound identical, so it's going to sound like one person is talking to each other. It's going to sound a little crazy. But uh, yeah, so I'm Mike, and he's Joel. And uh, yeah, <laughs> actually, there's only one person talking at that point. <laughs> yeah. See, they're, they're both talking. Yeah. You'd be, well, you'll see more of them later. We're going to go. We have an idea to do some movie... Uh, movie stuff later once the movies come that are make sense to our channel so um, keep an eye out for that but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about Predator 1 and Predator 2 sideshow collectible pieces um, these things are sick yeah so these are one-to-one -one scale as life-size based on the models from the films so Stan Winston Studios is the one that designed these faces and uh, so they did plaster uh, casts of the actual masks that were used in the film to do these uh, again, they're one-to-one -one scale, so they're pretty em enormous. Yeah, I was going to show maybe uh, for scale, you can see oh, how yeah, big they actually see. are. Put a Coke can up there, you can see that uh, they are indeed life-size. Yeah, so funny story, we originally uh, bought this Predator 2 head uh, because it, it, is, it recently came out. It's probably only about a year or so old, and uh, we were under the impression we could not acquire the Predator 1 head because it came out about around between 2006, 2007, somewhere around there. And uh, it's, it's been, you know, off the market for such a long time that uh, we figured we would just not be able to acquire it. However, once we bought Predator 2, it became our mission to get Predator 1, because who wants just a Predator 2 head? You gotta have them both, right? Also, they fit nicely side by side, so. Yeah, I think it's interesting that when you got it, and you, it looks like they're made to fit with each other. Yeah, yeah, uh, almost. The way you've got yeah. it. Um, and they're, they're facing slightly opposite directions. Which so is they're really nicely cool. Yeah, so the original one was uh, manufactured by Sideshow and released by Sideshow. Uh, by the time the second one came out, you know, almost a decade later, uh, there was a, a different company took over the production of it. It's called Cool Props. And I want to say it's based in Japan. It, it's based in one of the Asian countries anyway. But uh, so they're doing slightly different sorts of materials. Uh, so the Predator 1 head actually weighs considerably more than the other one. Oh, really? How much? Yeah. What, what? Uh, there's, there's a good several pound difference in between them. And, and I think they're just using slightly different materials for the Cool Props company is. But anyway, they are companion pieces. They, they did the paint jobs to match, and they did the little, uh, the little plaques on the front there so that it still looks like it's all the, the same company. So it seems like the, the number two is more detailed. Yes, well, that is actually just a natural uh, evolution of the way the films were done. Yeah, yeah. So the original one, you know, they, they tried to put all the bells and whistles on it, but it was uh, had to be a little bit more practical too because it was, again, a man in a suit and they needed it to, to look good and to be mobile at the same time. By, by the time Predator 2 came out, the prosthetics and everything got better, the, the design got better, and because some years had passed uh, and Stan Winston Studios wanted to one-up themselves, they decided, well, let's add more hair to the, to the face. Let's make the paint a little bit more exotic. Let's make the teeth uh, a little bit more detailed. So as they do in a lot of the crown movies. larger, yeah, and more up. They're trying to make it more menacing, yeah, menacing. Yeah. and this is the same progression that we've seen in, in all kinds of science. No, in Predator movies. Two is is something you know how there's two races of Predator, right? There's the bigger ones and the little ones. Do you think that Predator Two is actually the first big Predator, or do you think that's not released till Predators? Do you know what um, I mean? The different types. Yeah. Of so predators. When predators came out, there's specifically two different kinds of sure. warring factions of, of the predator species. I, I'm not entirely sure if in Predator Two there were multiple species. It was, uh, it was the one that was stranded in uh, L.A. Right, and then his ship came down to to uh, take him away. Was, wasn't that what happened? Well, I think honestly, it's a hunt. He wasn't stranded because at the end, when what what's his name won. They came down and the dude gave him a gun, an old like Civil War gun. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was more of he was a hunt. So they were coming back to collect him after his hunt that, was over. They were there the whole time, probably. I probably need to watch that movie again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I By the way, I, mean, my I, am, house, but <laughs> I am with the two of the best critics in the United States, yeah, so well, I got him on that one. That, that so. might not be indicative of our, of our movie knowledge. But <laughs> oh, I would doubt that. <laughs> if you guys got these pieces, it, you know. It was uh, Aliens versus Predator is the first one where they decided this is called the wolf predator and so yeah and the scar actually, predator and they, they, they had like they, different they gave them names okay stuff, yeah. that's kind of what I was in predator 2 i don't think they bothered actually giving them uh, yeah 
uh, and actually it's in the comic books is where they kind of really got into the evolution of what all the, the little details were behind the, the, the species itself. Because in the films, it's all about the less you know, the, the, little, the more scary it is, I suppose. So it's... Uh, yeah, no, I get it. I'm... Also, the com in the comic books, they actually created female predators, which is something you will never see in, you've never yeah. seen in any other Well, movies. I heard rumor... That they're going to put that in the new movie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> these spoiler, guys, spoiler. these guys, uh, they don't watch the previews for the movies before they go do it, so... Do you know give their yeah, for, uh, for impartiality? So that's amazing to me. I mean, how can you avoid it? They just don't watch TV, guys. <laughs> that's the only way, I think. So, real quick, let's just not to wrap it up, but if you wanted to talk about maybe any type of the special detail on each one of these, like a real quick, I mean, these things here that all oh, these are kind of yeah, solid. They're, well, they're hard plastic on the original yeah. Predator, and then on the second one, they, they, they changed, changed it to rubber. yeah, that has Software. that again had to do with cool props taking over the production, and I think they're just using slightly less expensive materials so that it's a, a, an easier also. Thing I still think it's better though. The, it, the is, it is, it's more elaborate, yeah, and, yeah. And, it, and it looks really good, like the hair itself, or whatever the quills, or whatever yeah. you call it. The, at least they the move because you could break these easy. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so actually it, one of the in most. In fact, I believe the original, yeah, the original packaging for it came with a, a set, a little bag of extra hair. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, so that in case you chip one off, you could just glue it back on. That's yeah. nice. Now, just so you know, guys, these these aren't. This is a solid piece. Yes, you would the, think the it would be not... a lot cooler. I think we all had agreements that. Yeah, if they had cool done the dreadlocks out of actual fiber or something. Or kind maybe of a hair. rubber yeah. or oh, something. Sure, sure. Like, same with this one, right? The number two is... Yes, it's a solid. Yeah, it's so a solid. Actually, I believe the reason they did it like this is because at the Stan Winston Studios, the original sculpt they had did include hair like this. And then it wasn't until they actually filmed that they actually they put They added it. the additions? Yeah. Hmm. So. Then this is... Uh, no, that's hard too. Yeah. Well, um, with this one too, the little uh, bones, everything is all one solid it's piece. It's all one piece. Whereas so, in the second one, they actually are addition, you know, added things. That yeah. Dangle. So the second one, everything's loose. Uh, you know, it's like a necklace. Uh, you have this, like a little ear. <laughs> whatever it is. Um, How do you decorate dreadlocks? Man. Yeah, yeah, I'm on. <laughs> so, also this one's got a like a lizard tongue. I don't ever remember seeing that tongue. But apparently it must have been in there. Oh, is that in there too? No, no the original one did not have The any original tongue, doesn't. Any I, don't, I don't remember seeing his tongue in any of the movies, but maybe no. it's there. Um, the teeth, there's definitely a difference in the teeth. These, you know, I don't want to touch them, but they look pretty darn realistic to me. Um, he needs, you know, go yeah, it's, it's teeth. a testament to the paint job, really. You yeah, know, yeah. You, when you look inside the mouth and everything, you can kind of see this moisture. That's going on. That's just the paint. They've used some some really no, nice I think glossy that stuff going on. The internal mouth on this might be better. Yeah. Well, you can see there's drool. You know, you can see this. It's almost like sap. Oh yeah. There you go. There. It's it's a uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. The paint job that they did on there. And these are all. I want to say they're all hand painted. Because oh yeah, they have limited. to be. They have to be. Yeah, they're all I limited to I about like you know 500 pieces. The other teeth are more realistic than these. I think. I don't yeah. know. Um, these are more like a claw, and these look like teeth. I don't know. I think they're both really awesome. Yeah, yeah well, believe you, me. You know, if you look at this, the detail on the inside of the, the mouth here, you can see the veins going on in there. It's, yeah, it's I really think that, elaborate. I don't know which one I like better, to be honest with you. I think they're both, that's really nice. I mean, but. Um, Design wise, I think the, the first Predator is, uh, it's scarier, it's uglier, it's more menacing. Especially because this, he, he in Predator 2, <laughs> in Predator yeah. 2, they kind of almost made him a little more insect looking with the eyes are yeah closer even the together. teeth are a little yeah. bit different in the way that i mean it's the same mouth but i still get a different feel um either way i would kill for either one of these um i remember when these guys got the predator 2 correct that was recently yeah, that was about a year ago and they called me to tease me so i had to come see it and i was very jealous because well these yeah, guys are alien what's, guys. what's funny is when we have guests come over we usually have to cover these because they're too scary. <laughs> what, and yeah. people have complained in the past yeah. no that they don't, want, the, they don't, no, want, these, no they don't want these faces uh, over glaring 18, at them. Over 18, yeah. Mike, over 18. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, overall, I mean, just out of guess, what do these usually retail at? I mean, not to get... Well, so, so back in, two, again, I think it was 2006, 2007 when the first Predator came out. And it would have retailed for about 845, some, somewhere right around sure. there. Sure. And uh, this, then Predator 2, when it came out, right around what 2017 maybe i think it retailed for about 1200 in that range what are they going for now well i i think that, so the first one is long out of print hasn't been available in you know a decade 
And uh, so that's only on eBay aftermarkets. You, you can't find that in a store or anything. Sure. Uh, so it's kind of whatever anybody wants to charge. It's very, very rare. And I think there uh, was limited to 500 pieces. Wow. So, it, you know, once they end up in the hands of collectors, it becomes even harder to acquire it. In fact, uh, we were searching for that Predator One head for about three years. And um, I only saw maybe one or two pop up on eBay during that time. So it is... It is and that's where you got it? Yes. Yeah, we got the Predator One. And then Predator Two because... We were interested in it when it came out. Uh, we just bought that straight from Sideshow. Oh, okay. I thought you scored it on eBay. No, no, no. Well, everything's more affordable when you buy it right when it comes out. If you wait for the aftermarket, that's how you get the uh, yeah, you, you get the up, deal. Then if it, too much. <laughs> was there another version of it, or is it just one version? Because I know they do that sometimes. Yeah. So almost all of side, well, not all, but a lot of Sideshows. Uh, busts and, and models and things, they come out with a, like a deluxe version that mm -hmm. usually has a, a different face plate, a name plate on it, or, you know, like a little uh, diorama or something extra with it. These, I don't recall if they had deluxe versions, uh, but if they did, it wouldn't have been a different sculpt. It would have simply been, you know, a little metal poster or something that could have been maybe the next. plate, maybe it's like the a plate. Paint job with the artist proof maybe yeah maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, oh, sometimes imagine but. that if you could get that what do you think that would be like just the, the original so sideshow did a uh, charity auction a couple of years ago and the, the there was an artist proof for this predator one and i think that that ended up selling for right around six thousand dollars oh my god so again it was for charity so people pay a little bit more but it but it was uh i want, I want to say it was an artist proof and that was uh very pricey well still available they made a life-size bust for Alien versus Predator, the Wolf Predator. You know oh, you guys didn't get that one yet? Well, I, it's too, it's too, isn't too heads enough, too yeah. life-size Predator heads enough for Come one. on, guys. <laughs> you gotta go all the way. Well, let's face it, though. Predator 2 was already kind of a decline when it came to movie making. So if we start collecting from Alien versus Predator, then, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're our standards, right? Well, I appreciate your guys' time. We're, we're gonna do some more stuff in their collection. Um, I think this was a great start. Um, again... Uh, if you want to go check out their their site, it's oh, it is gonewiththetwins.com, and they they review everything. They have a lot of reviews on movies, and of course, we're gonna try to figure something out where we might be doing some reviews together on movies that you guys might want to see. Yeah, and particularly Predator, the Predator is yeah. coming out. So if that's I can be, convince uh, them to timely. take me, I don't know what I have to do, but uh, maybe they'll let me take or they'll uh, take me there. So. Uh, we'll see. I'll try to pull some strings for you guys. So again, thanks again. Go check out their website. The, their information will be in the description of the video. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching.